Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do a really cheap, not cheap, and expensive um, child's decoration for Halloween. Um, this is for the kids to do, although you are more than welcome to do it with them or do it for them or whatever. But I'm using that modeling, the fluffy white modeling clay <clears throat> that I've done some recently with you guys. And this is just some of the leftover from it. <coughs> so I'm going to use a K cup, a Keurig cup. Um, for my mold, but you could use, there's lots of stuff you can find around your house that you can use if you don't have Keurig cups, but I am going to do, start doing a little bit of a series on different ways to recycle them. So you're just going to take a pinch off of your clay and you're just going to kind of work it with your fingers or if the kids have one of those miniature kitchen cook set things, there's usually a rolling pin in it. Great fine motor skill for them. So you're just going to have it roll it out a little bit, as close to a circle as you can get. Good, good learning experience here too. It's a good chance to teach because you're talking about shapes, about the pressure of the rolling pin, and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to keep working on this. Okay, so I've gotten it a little bit, somewhat circular. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the cured cup. Now... One thing I've learned with this is when it sticks together, it's together. So if you're going to want to make some, you know, sheet folds, I mean, if your kiddos are doing it, they are not going to care. They're just going to have fun with it, and it, it just doesn't matter. Um, but if you're doing it yourself for something, then you just want to kind of, you know. Okay, then we're going to need to add eyes. mouth and remember this stuff is so forgiving it didn't really come the way I wanted it to in this eye there it goes um, and so you can just you know patch it back up and start over so there's the pumpkin let it dry overnight on this cured cup um, if the kids want to paint something on it for some reason that's you know, whatever they want to do. Um, if they want to just put some black dots where the eyes are, that's perfectly fine. And then you can take it off once it's dried and um, use a tea light candle underneath it to uh, shine through. Okay, we're going to take it one step further and we're going to turn our pumpkin into a witch. So what I've done, I'm going to put this back on. I've just kind of fluffed it back out. And with the witch, you might want to cut off some of the, this way y'all can see it. You might want to cut off some of the excess on the side and then just make it come together a little bit because, you know, witch's stuff is full, but not necessarily as full as what a she would be for a ghost. So anyway, you kind of get the idea here. You want to keep the length, but you don't necessarily want the exact fullness. Um, and I took out the eyes and mouth. Um, then I made another little round disc and put it on top. And then this is the hat, or the, yeah, this is the top of the hat. And you could always go back and glue this on, but anytime you can actually do it while it's drying, the more strong and steady it's going to be. So there you go. And then after this dries, your kids can come back and paint it black and purple and just whatever colors they want. You can put a face on it, whatever they want to have as a face. Um, again, you can take out the cured cup when it's dry and put a tea light underneath it. So this is just really simple stuff. You probably can think of a lot of other uses with the clay with your kids. Um, and like I said, it's super forgiving. You know, just spray it and and, and work with it a little bit farther or whatever. Also, these make perfect, this particular dough clay makes perfect little ornaments. I used to make salt ornaments with my kids every year um, for our Christmas tree. And, you know, after 10 or 15 years, and yes, I did keep them that long, 
um, they had kind of just started to fall apart from the heat in the attic and all of that. So this is another great way to use some cookie cutters, the Modeling Magic, and um, paint and color, glitter, whatever they want to do. So this stuff is very flexible, very usable, very kid-friendly. And if your kids are a little bit older and they want to wait until it dries a little bit and come back and kind of tip up the uh, witch's hat, perfectly okay, too. Just whatever they want to do with it. Work with their age, and voila. So if you like this kind of things, guys, um, please like and follow. I do a lot of chalk stuff of things that you can do and purchase, um, but I also try to throw in some things that's um, just great for the kids to do that's a pretty inexpensive project. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys will follow me.